particular skill is the hip flexor wrap. We have an athlete here who has injured their hip flexor, uh, which is a muscle that actually flexes the hip. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually use the elastic properties of our wrap in order to provide what we call a mechanical advantage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place him in a flex position. We're gonna wrap the wrap. Then when he steps down, it's gonna apply tension onto the wrap. So when he's actively participating, every single time he goes to run, the elastic wrap is gonna pull that hip flexor back into a flex position. So it really takes a lot of the tension actually off of the muscle. So in order to do this, we wanna place him in a flex position. We wanna have the appropriate length wrap. This particular one is a double length six inch wrap, so it's six inches wide, it's 10 yards long. And generally for this particular wrap, you need at least that particular size. Uh, depending on how severe the injury is, this really dependent or de dictates how much of uh, flexion you want him to be in. The more flexion you create, the tighter the wrap is going to be when he goes into extension. So depending on uh, what, you know, depending on the injury, you might have him just slightly flexed, more flexed. Uh, you don't really want to go beyond 90 degrees here. So here we're kind of in a happy medium. Uh, we're not completely flexed to 90 degrees, but we're um, fairly close to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the wrap. Generally, you would want to do this on compression shorts underneath their jersey, uh, but for this in particular situation, uh, we're you know, fine not doing that uh, for demonstration purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the wrap around mid-thigh. I'm going to bring this around. We're going to do our dog ear technique to make sure that the wrap doesn't slide and fall down. So we're going to take this piece and flip that over and make sure that that is nice and secure on the thigh. What we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to bring the wrap up in to the lateral side of his hip. So we want to make sure that we go to the outside because that's going to help pull the hip up into the outside, which is what the hip flexor actually does. I'm going to come around his waist, right around kind of belt high, so that's why it's nice and comfortable for him, and create a kind of a crisscrossing or X pattern coming right in front of the hip flexor. We're going to repeat that as many times as we can with the wrap. This looks like I'm going to get twice as I come around. Now I'm going to be able to end around his waist. Now you have a choice here that you can either end at the waist or end at the thigh. It really doesn't matter. I tend to like to uh, uh, end up the waist, which allows me to tape around the waist, which I feel like is a little bit more secure. So I'm going to use him as a kind of a help here. He's just going to hold down that wrap while I grab my white adhesive tape. I'm going to place this around his waist, just like a belt, a couple times to make sure that it's good and secure and it doesn't come off. I want to check for circulation, make sure that it's not too terribly tight. And then we're going to have him do is we're just going to have him step down and test to make sure that the wrap actually pulls him up into hip flexion. If it does, and it feels like it makes it more comfortable, then we're all set and he's ready to go out and participate.